This can't be real life. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see this. It is funny, though, how, like, I just, like, just watched the video about Jake, Jake Paul and, like, celebrity boxing, and I was like, dang, like, you know what I'm saying? If he's trying to be a world champion, like, he got to face, you know, he got to do the things that other, like, amateur boxers do and fight no names until you get up to the bigger leagues and then you fight, like, you know, bigger names. It's just the fact that he is a bigger name going against smaller people. But it's like in the world of boxing, he's not a big name. You know what I mean? So that's why it's like, you know, it, I, I don't know. it's kind of hard to explain, but I can see people's frustration, but I also understand uh, why he has to do what he does at the same time. And then all of a sudden he just goes against Mike Tyson and I'm like, all right, bro. I don't know how to like, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know if someone's ever made me eat my words so fast. That's I mean, what I'm saying. I just saying. made my video on how the last couple of Jake Paul fights have drawn little to no interest. That's what I'm Jake saying. Jake has essentially been out here fighting absolute nobodies who are said far the same past thing, their prime. Bro. And while I he did knock one thing. of them out cold, and he finished the other one within the first round, people really did not care, and it seemed like he was drawing less and less interest with every single fight. Now in my defense, in that video I did say that Jake might have some juice left in the entertainment tank, but that he was going to have to go back to fighting people with much higher social profiles. I was predicting KSI, maybe Ryan Garcia, but with him now fighting the man who is arguably the most recognizable boxer on planet <laughs> Earth right now, this will definitely drum up a lot of interest. I don't care if there is some 30 year age gap. I mean, you got a guy that was on Disney Channel stepping into like, people, the ring with an absolute. Bro, people are already making excuses for Mike talking about Mike's 57. Ah, uh, bro. Have you seen Mike Tyson at 50? Like, Mike Tyson training 50. Like, that's still not something you want to get hit by, bro. Luke Killer. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. <laughs> and that's something a lot of people are going to want to see whether you like Jake or not. This was just some of the initial reaction. Jake Paul's a good boxer. And Mike's obviously not in his prime anymore. Oh, you don't say. But if Mike loses or this is a tie, then we absolutely know for sure that this is faked. Or at least staged. I mean, I'm predicting right now that no one's going to get knocked out in this fight. I don't know if there will be a no-knock. I think this is going to be Jake Paul's version of the Logan Paul fight. I think he's going to go in, fight Lo I mean, fight Mike Tyson. He's going to go however many rounds they agree to, four, eight, whatever. Right? They're going to go the distance. And then Jake's going to say that he beat Mike Tyson. Just like Logan says, he beat Floyd Mayweather. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying that's what's going to happen. All right. Out clause in the contract, but I just can't really see that happening. I mean, you got this guy who's really mad. He says, I said it once and I'll say it again. Jake Paul claiming to be a boxer while preying on retired combat sports athletes who have sustained careers worth of injuries is one of the most utterly pathetic displays of cowardice I've ever seen in my entire life. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Stop encouraging this clown. You're a joke. Netflix, you're also a joke for promoting this as well. <laughs> I mean, everyone he's fight has had to agree to get into that ring. And you know what their encouragement Very is? True. The money, baby. I mean, hey, if someone wants to toss me a cool million, they can knock me the f out. I'll happily lay my head on all the money that night. And Stepping into the ring with Jake Paul for a mil, I'd do it. I'd do it, man. I do it. You, you throw me a meal, bro. Hey, I train. I do whatever. You know what I'm saying? We can hype this up. I'll take his hat this time. You know what I'm saying? We can do whatever we got to do to really sell this fight. And I'll even be the bad guy. How about that? I'll even be the bad guy this time. Because a lot of times Jake's the bad guy and he has to, you know what I'm saying? I'll be the bad guy this time. How about that? I'll fight Jake Paul. I'll be the bad guy. I'll, you know, we could, we could write some story, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm sure they have some sort of um, auditorium or something, somewhere where they craft these stories for content creation in L.A. So, let's, let's draw something up, bro. 
Let's do something, bro. I'll and at do the it. end of the day, dude, it's really all entertainment. Like Facts. I said, the fucker was on Disney Channel. It's not like he was some trained athlete. And I think that's insane. entertainment. Crazy like I said, the fucker was on Disney Channel. Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Wait, oh shit. Jake, wait. Logan, wait. Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Olivia Rodrigo. That's wild, bro. Just like seeing where they're at now and just like seeing they're on Disney Channel. Like, crazy. Well, it's not like he was some trained athlete. And I think this is the most reasonable response to this announcement. I hate myself that I'm going to watch this. Because anything with Jake Paul is almost like passing by a car accident. You don't <laughs> want to watch, but you can't really take your eyes off of it. He I also thought this was hilarious. People were predicting this is how the fight was going to go. Now, if this was back in the day, I mean, Mike Tyson might catch a murder charge. Like, let's say it was a celebrity back in the day, and he mm -hmm. wanted to fight Mike. Oh, I think he would have made a point to knock the f*** out of him. Thank and here is the official head-to-head. -head. You guys can see that beautiful 30-year age gap. That's nuts. Jake's got the 9-1 and record against a bunch of milkmen and plumbers, while Tyson has the 50-6 and six against some of the greatest fighters of all time. I mean, 50 wins and 44 knockouts is fucking insane That's you know i'm a nuts. little bit too young to have witnessed tyson in his prime but my parents always tell me stories about oh you know we bought the pay-per-view we had the whole family over everyone stayed up all night to watch the main event and then you better not get up and go to the bathroom because that shit was over in 12 seconds <laughs> when mike was around and obviously mike is not going to be no pushover this guy still no, looks fast That's what in I'm his saying. training footage if he doesn't it's rigged Okay, I feel like the only way for Jake to really win would just be to survive. I would assume they're doing like eight rounds. So if they're doing eight rounds, I think he. I think if he survives, I mean Mike's fifty-seven, bro. He's still going, but there's no way his stamina is like lasting that long. You know, I don't remember what his uh, last couple um, rounds looked like in twenty twenty when he had that boxing match against what was it like Roy Jones? I think. So I don't. I don't know what that looks like. That footage, uh, or at least I don't remember. So I don't know if he was already like kind of gassed by then, but I think at that point that would be Jake's best chance just to survive like the first couple rounds, because this is what he's in for those first couple rounds like this, and I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I mean, this is a damn near sixty-year-old man. Facts. With insane movement. <laughs> now he's definitely hit him before, bro. He definitely hit him before. One hundred percent hit him before. That's why. <laughs> like that little vessel that they did on video. All right, that's that, but bro. He's one hundred percent actually like. Like knock your bro in the jaw before bro. caught him caught him with a stray one real quick. Probably might knock him my first round. Oh, no question. I mean, I won't lie to you guys. If Mike Tyson walked through my door right now and hit me with one of these combinations, yeah. I would die. He would send me <laughs> into the die. TV, and there would be no more Tan Superman. There's just a look at the official event poster, and this is kind. Of it's crazy how this is real though, like. That's nuts, bro. And it's happening in July, bro. It's happening in Texas in a huge NFL stadium. That's crazy, bro. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pull up, bro. I'm gonna try to pull up. Kind of a groundbreaking event with it being live on Netflix. I don't know if they've ever hosted a boxing match. I forgot Netflix even does stuff live, bro. I f I'd be forgetting that, bro. But then they're also gonna be doing Raw live starting in January. But uh, beside that, I never thought of anything live on netflix i mean as you guys can see per the jake paul announcement they have 260 million people using netflix right now apparently including 500 million homes mike tyson apparently has talked about the prospect of fighting jake paul in the past jake paul is obviously you know he's big... beautiful my kid my, my family loves jake paul could you f him up oh, i'm so f easy i would never <laughs> i believe it's my family they like, love this little white mother I mean, Mike, I would say that 99% of people out there are rooting for you to get the knockout, for you to bounce this. I mean, I put bread on Mike Tyson. 
Like, if I were to bet, I gotta look at my bets. Wait, are the games over today? I don't think they. I don't think Underdog does the uh, does the stuff until the games are over. I, uh, remind me, I gotta look at the NBA stats on this. This man's head off the canvas once and for all. Of course, the KSI fans came out the woodwork to try and discredit this bout, saying two years ago Mike Tyson was using a cane to walk. Jake Paul should be ashamed. Using a cane to walk. That was two years ago. There was some boxing footage of him at 57, almost knocking out his... Bro, no. all right. How you doing, Mike? I mean, I'm not saying... I mean, obviously, Mike Tyson agreed to it. You think they, You think there's an? You think there's a money amount to get Mike Tyson to... Bro, he's Mike Tyson, bro. Like, he, he don't, there's no money in my... Bro, he probably just wanted to box, bro. He probably just wanted to get in the ring, bro. Obviously, he wanted to do it. Brother, you looking good, Mike. You you know, you're it's not like nobody Yo. held a gun up to his head and was just like, Yo, Mike, uh, come on, bro. They posted up this news story saying, Ain't no way Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson, man. Mike Tyson is pictured in a wheelchair at the Miami airport raising new fears for his health amid problems with sciatica. Just weeks after he morbidly claims his death is coming real soon at age 56. I mean, you already know how I feel about KSI. I don't really. I was about to say, KSI posting all this is just promo for their match, bro. Literally. It's going to be KSI sitting in his, uh, at his table. Jake, Jake Paul's going to be sitting at his table. Maybe Logan's going to be on his side, but Logan's also going to have Prime on his side. And then, but Jake's sponsored by Celsius, so that might be a little conflict of interest there. I don't know. But they're going to, uh, yeah, Logan's for sure going to play some sort of role in their whole little debacle. And KSI is definitely going to bring up, bro, you fight, you fought a 57 year old Mike Tyson, bro. Like, why don't you get in the room with somebody your own size? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 100%. I already kind of see him almost see as a darker shaded Logan Paul. And the funniest part about Tyson. this to me is if KSI came out and announced that he was fighting Mike Tyson, the guy who runs this Twitter page would probably jerk himself off to the news that Oh, my fault. Oh, shit, my fault. That's the, that's the, that's the KSI news. My fault. My fault. I, I mean, seriously, my fault. though, if you are over the age of 13 and you're running a fan account for another man, it's time to reevaluate your entire life. I mean, keep in mind, at one point, KSI was lined up to fight this 40-year-old man right here who had a 3-20 and record. <laughs> and instead, KSI ended up boxing this guy, and here's how the fight ended. An elbow to the f***ing jaw. Now, to be fair to KSI, at this point in the match, it. he was absolutely whooping this guy's ass. But he has still failed to acknowledge his elbow altogether. And he runs around acting like he's the biggest, baddest guy in town. I thought they were, I was getting up slowly because I thought they're counting because it was a clear, I felt the elbow. I saw the punch go past my face and then it hits me with an elbow. What punch was it exactly? Like? It was a left it was a right, right hand. hand. Right hand goes past and then it hits me. They have it all, it's gone, it's gone viral, so everywhere. Literally, I felt bone. Like, he, he should be disqualified. That should go down as a loss. You can't walk up to someone in boxing and elbow them. It's not Muay Thai. It's not MMA. So that's yeah, I don't how think he, he meant felt it, about though. getting elbowed in his jaw. To Someone be fair. said watching Jake Paul do a Fortnite dance over an unconscious 60-year-old Mike Tyson. <laughs> nah, man. It can't go down like that. <laughs> that cannot happen. It's in the contract. I don't think Jake Paul could check his chin either way, but... Either way, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this situation. For imagine Jake knocks this nigga out. Oh my god. You Jake Paul fanboys came for me quick. You said, oh, your video aged like milk. Where's the update? Well, here it is, guys, and I want to know what you think down below. Are you going to be hate watching this? Do you think it's about as real as the WWE? I mean, I just see it as yet another piece of good entertainment, to be honest. Man, I ain't gonna it's lie, like WWE might be realer than this, bro. In wreck Love is Blind, you got girls out here calling themselves Megan Fox. Gay guys out here gaslighting women, it's crazy. Netflix on some other shit. But either way, y'all know it's been your- Yo, Love is Blind this season, man. Crazy, bruh. If y'all know, y'all know, bruh. The boy, the tan Superman. And some other boxing news out here needs to be covered, so I'm out. Peace. Oh yeah, and that Ryan Garcia video is coming soon. Oh, yeah, I forgot you said he was doing that. Yeah, Ryan Garcia, bro. That's been... Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot to cover with that one. And I feel like there's something new every day with Ryan Garcia, bro. So, yeah.
I'll have fun trying to look up stuff for that. Until the retired people does five, I'm not going to disrupt the sport by losing to this caliber of fighters. I sure hope so, man. Come on, bro. The Joker was worse since 2020. You can thank the Paul Brothers for that. Wow. Really? So you're going to thank the Paul Brothers for boxing becoming a joke of a sport. Nah. I, I don't. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Apparently, unanimously approved bill that ban could ban TikTok, dude. I'm oh, fuck that shit, bro. 